Hello everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me today in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And we're gonna talk about stress, how to control that stress and, you know, dealing with all that, excuse me, I'm handling the technical difficulties on my own here. And I always say difficulties because they are for me, but you know, we're gonna talk about dealing with stress and, and how to control uh, stress and managing anxiety. And, and I'm gonna share a, a principle that very quick principle, spiritual metaphysical principle from the Course in Miracles that helps us to, you know, really lightly understand that what this stress thing is all about, which is really nothing if we can understand it that way. But by the way, I have to mention Molly Peterson, my fellow author friend, Molly Peterson, if you are listening or watching here today, I got my hair cut today, like you had said, uh, for everyone uh, that doesn't know Molly, uh, Molly had said, uh, Jim, before you make another video, you got to get a haircut, please. Okay, so I did Molly, does it look okay? And uh, next, next thing she's probably going to say is, now, Jim, you need to shave that beard. So we'll see. Well, Molly, I hope things look good, and I hope things are going well for you. And as I was in there this morning getting my hair cut, I thought about you. In fact, I even told the, uh, the, the, the woman cutting my hair, Kathy, I said, you know, this girl, Molly, we chuckled. I said, you're, you're overdue for a haircut. And really, I was overdue for a haircut. So anyways, let's talk about a collection of tips that we should be concerned about and consider on the best ways for how to control stress for, let's say, personal growth. You know, handling anxiety and stress these days makes, especially these days that we're going through, uh, the ideal beginning point for success means getting a grip on all this stuff that bogs us down. Yes, I mean, I mean, a beginner, a, a beginning means to start becoming the individual that you really want to be without the fear of, I like to say, the deep state trying to drag you down and say, no, you can't do that. No, you can do anything you want in life. But I'm going to mention below to a few of a collection of stress management tips that hopefully offer you a better life, a better attitude towards life, maybe a healthier you begins in the mind. But now before we go on, as you're listening to me and watching me here, please keep in mind this spiritual esoteric principle from A Course in Miracles. It's so simple and it's so easy to understand without having to uh, bend your brain, so to speak, to understand it. A Course in Miracles states, a broken body shows the mind has not been healed. Now, I'm going to repeat that. I've also included that in the description area down below for you people that like to jot these down. And when you go to the description area down below here at YouTube, I'm going to have quite a, a, a few links, not many, but a description here. And you might want to click show more to expand that area open. But of course, in Miracle states, a broken body shows the mind has not been healed. Now, I'm not going to go on about that, but I'm going to let you look at that and don't think about it too hard. Let it flow across you because it's simple. Healing all is in the mind. It's not of the body. When the mind heals, the body heals. Now, I'm not, excuse me, because I'm just getting over this cold. My raggedy old Kleenex is here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. But I'm not talking about the brain when I mention the mind. I'm, I mentioned the mind. I'm talking about the mind, which is not the brain. The brain is just an organ of the body. And let me repeat that again, since I mentioned what I'm saying. A broken body shows the mind has not been healed. All right. It is intended to help or to assist you into maybe getting in order or establishing a plan for becoming a much better person in life and live a better life when you get a grip on how to manage stress and anxiety. I mean, changing your environment, for example, might be for those of you that know my story, I spent eight years in a very ugly, ugly environment. And my books uh, detail all that. So I describe in detail the ugly environment that I lived in for eight years. And um, 
So I hope if you haven't read my books and you're a kind of a newbie here to listening to me, I hope that you'll check me out. And the link is also down below here at YouTube. And if you're at my website, this is going to be posted at my website as well. So you'll see that information. But let's say being in a location where you live that has a great deal of violence, that's no good, is it? Wow, look at the stress piling up there. Or in a neighborhood that just depresses you and all it does is bring you down. I've been in a situation like that and I had to get out of it. And I did. It's important to live in a safe community where you can say hello to friends in the morning as you are on the sidewalk walking along or whatever, on the way to your car or whatever it is. Excuse me again. I mean, where you can go and come as you please and not have to worry about your environments, about this, your safety of your own body. Acquiring, and I want to use the word acquiring, acquiring understanding for how to control stress is among the best lessons you can do to help yourself grow as an individual. The reason I like to use that word acquiring because to me, it reflects research on what you can do based on how you feel, because we all have our different ways of healing, don't we? There is absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with going to, say, the library or to a bookstore and examining, checking out, examining material there, or going to a, a book, the self-help section of a bookstore and checking out your favorite books or a new author that you've never known before, or even doing that online. In the old days, we'd say, go to the, you know, we'd go to the brick and mortar bookstore, but now we have all the outlets online where we can go and check people out. But I'm saying, if you're dealing with stress, do something about it right now. Because when you decide to, when you even think about you need to do something, that right there is the first step. You know, learning how to cope with stress and, and you know, and, and anxiety and, all, and maybe some depression too that's there can help you feel much better about yourself just by the fact that you made a decision to learn how to get a grip on this. Likewise, perhaps have a positive outlook on objectives and goals and all the things you're trying to pursue in just maybe in basic life, being friendly with, like I had said, someone you pass on the street. Well, by doing that, it is your little safeguard zone. When you open your spirit to other people, that's where you're safeguarded in the spirit. The body cannot protect you. Divinity protects you. The body is just, is, is, is a reason, the body is just filled with stress and anxiety. So when you can put your spirit in charge by having some faith in yourself and your own decisions of where you're going in life, then you enable yourself to do the things that are beyond the little bubble that you may want to keep yourself in for protection purposes. You know, by doing by doing so, you will still see that it's fine to do things that are beyond what you often regularly do if you learn to maybe get outside that bubble. Listen, if, you, if you're saying, I just like living inside my own bubble. Well, think about what that's doing to you, okay? Is it really safe? Or are you just saying, I like to live inside my own bubble because there's something you're afraid of. There's something that you're in fear of that you just are not willing and ready to address at this point in your life, but that's okay. But if you can address that issue, that's how you move on. And that's how, as you process through your steps to handling anxiety and stress, you'll see how crucial this is for your self-growth, personal growth, personal transformation, whatever word you want to listen to. But in, by listening to your external and internal 
narratives, the dialogue that you use to speak to yourself and to others, especially the self dialogue within yourself. You know, this managing, this managing anxiety idea helps you to be able to determine stressful situations you should address. And by the way, much of these words in this message I'm, I'm uh, lending you today, actually giving you, not lending you, is uh, in my first book of the series called The Master of Everything. It's a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company, a mainstream publisher who I'm so proud to be a part of their family. So I hope that you'll access my books and check out further what Ozark Mountain has to offer as well. Um, you'll find that at my website, which the link if you're at YouTube is down below as well again. But I also wanna suggest another article that's at my website. I'm gonna have that link at YouTube too in the description area on why it's important to avoid stress always by moving forward in life. And that's a pretty detailed, uh, thought-provoking article. It's at my safe and secure blog, so I hope that you'll check that out. But if you aren't healthy, you cannot live life to the max. Wouldn't you agree? You know, I sure do, because I had to learn that the hard way. The majority of insurance we could say, or assurance strategies cover physical and say diagnostic tests for how to control stress when you're at the doctor or you're going, the exams you may be going through, you know, and those are physical things, which are fine. So we can, but my point is what I'm leading to, when we can consider um, things such as taking a mammogram uh, or the routine blood work, et cetera. Well, what's wrong with that? That's okay. Because if you are happy with doing that, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get this mammogram. I'm gonna do this blood work today. Because what you're doing is you're, you're, you're re within yourself, you're bringing forth spirit who's, who's ordering your body to gently and lovingly get that mammogram, get those blood tests. You're letting spirit be in charge to lead you and say, well, yeah, we're going to do that today. I'm going to trust my doctor because he says this. Well, these steps will keep your mind at ease and prevent any concerns that require any more dealing with any tough situations in your life. So let's break big goals into little ones for personal development the development success or transformation success. Wouldn't you believe? Yes. Break them, break them bigger goals down into little goals. Take baby steps for a while and move forward. When you start setting objectives and goals, you will have a better chance of reaching the life you want with very minimal stress. Now let's face it, as humans, we humans, we're always going to endure stress. But when we put spirit in charge and we know, then we know how to get a grip on it when we need it most. Wouldn't you agree? Until next time, everyone, please follow my work. Please uh, uh, join me here on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel right now and click the alert button. The way YouTube can notify you when uh, I have a new video out. And I wish the best to you and, 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 and all the success in the world. And like I always like to say, and there's a reason I always like to say this. I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and the natural beauty that is within you. That natural beauty within it, with, that is within you does not know anything about stress and anxiety. No, it doesn't. So start extending that natural beauty that is within you to the material world, to other people you run into, and you'll notice your levels of stress and anxiety drastically coming down in your life. Until next time, God bless.